السلام علیکم گڈ ایوننگ ڈے اسٹوڈنٹس ہوپ یو آر آل فائن ود دا گریس آف آل مائی ٹی آئی ایم مسٹر محمد خالد اینڈ یو آر لرننگ ٹیکنیکل اینڈ بزنس رائٹنگ ڈے اسٹوڈنٹس اٹ از ویک ففٹین لیسنس تھرٹی ون اینڈ تھرٹی ٹو آر ٹوڈیز ڈسکشن از اباؤٹ writing the library research report the students in this long discussion will talk about the following main points what is library research report scope of the library research report process of writing a library research report plus the guidelines how to maintain a better writing the students before i open the discussion let's have a brief about the previous discussion the last discussions or the series of discussions are purely about report writing clear and we have learned about what is a technical and scientific report business report guidelines and <clears throat> tips today's report is one of the very major report it is called library research report Library research report is very important and quite conventional and common in research about science and technology. Library research report is written or executed between 4,000 to 5,000 words. primarily <clears throat> a library research report can be said as literature review or the background study of the subject matter this report is very common in science and engineering basically a library research report is the review of available information about the subject matters from different writing sources like from research papers research articles books from the various online sources clear it is in simple way is the collection or survey of the report information already published clear a library research report is very major to explore about the already done work for the better guidance and understanding and execution of the project thereby all the writers and especially technical experts <clears throat> give a huge importance to library research report well dear students what are the benefits of writing a library research report dear students first we have to focus on the word research this is really one of the very important point research is finding out something by using the scientific method is called research it is very comprehensive manner mean to investigate about 
to find solution to study some problem issue project theory site model module engine everything by adopting very creative and solid scientific steps that process of exploration is called research secondly the research is highly important for promotion of the science and technology it is no doubt that according to the scholars some scholars this is uh, say that <clears throat> in the development of the human societies and even in the individual life there are two very important things number one resources like uh, land oil gas like uh, the properties bank balance fine and second thing is knowledge and according to them knowledge plays 80% role in human development and progress with the resources play 20% clear let's for example great britain the british british islands or british sorry isles quite a short as compared to the vast continents of asia and africa and others but they people loved the book they researched invented new islands new machines and a time came that they conquered almost the entire world and the wealth of the entire world went to right into their hands and similarly centuries back the muslim revival was this that they loved the book and research and they remained torch bearers of the knowledge for almost 1000 years exclusively but when they left the research and love and quest for the knowledge they all went into degradation okay so research is important why it is important because knowledge have to be increased if the knowledge is not research weight it is it goes obsolete or invalid let's for example you are the students of computer sciences or software engineering or either branch of science and technology the operating systems the techniques and theories equipment which was utilized 30 years ago is not utilized now fine and everybody wants a new mobile new application we find a hybrid cars mean a uh, high surveillance avionics and engines high potency medicines and we find uh, every day a new uh, development in chemical engineering paints and much more so how does this all come this all is actually the research of someone it is the research of the students of the relevant fields they boost the knowledge they invent the new ways if it stops it means nothing is possible so this is what the research is the students and here it is the two types of research one is called theoretical research clear theoretical research is the mother of 
the research is the theoretical research. And they are the highest type of the scientist who make this research. Clear? For example, Newton. He has not designed any machine by his, by his own hands. But why he is considered to be a great scientist of the old times? Because he gave the theories. He invented the law of the motion, law of gravitational force, law of movements. And accordingly, when the laws gave a new site, and the machinists and engineers and mechanical engineers, they design different types of machines and uh, everything. Thereby, they are they are the most important scientists. So that is called theoretical research. Another called practical implementation of the research that when the theory is proved, and later on the people work and utilize that research in designing machines and articles and things for the benefit of the human being. Thereby, we should learn two things. And in the Holy Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has expressed these two things in a very lucid manner. Bade Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ne bade jame andaz mein kaha hai afala ya tafakkaroon ay logo tum fikr kiyo nahi karte and that fikr thinking actually is the theoretical and afala ya tadabbaroon tadbeer clear? I mean, why don't you make something out of your thinking? That is actually practical demonstration, designing, fine. Taking the benefit of the knowledge, clear? So they are the two more important things. Now it comes that, for example, you are working on a project. So what are the benefits of the research? Enhances the theoretical understanding and vision. For example, you are working on you are work uh, you are learning software engineering. Your teachers in the classroom provide you notes, guidance. First, they build your theoretical understanding that what software engineering is, what is the scope of the software engineering, okay, what is a software, what is the process of the software, clear, and this is how they create image in your brain and your vision is broadened clear here if a person who reads more from the books and latest research papers and models and softwares use cases and many many things his understanding is better it means that library research report enhances our theoretical understanding and enriches our vision Number two, improves the practical skills. Obviously, when you have been assigned a topic, you have been assigned a project, and definitely you people are provided, you do have your projects, you have project given. again. So, better Joe Shucks, who has Android pe project, mila hai, iOS, pe, iOS pe mila hai, Flutter, so better better wo jitna better us platform ke mutalik padega. उस सिस्टम के मुतालिक पढ़ेगा कि वो कोई फाइनेंस सिस्टम है, कोई मेडिकल सिस्टम है, तो उस सिस्टम को जितना स्टडी करेगा, जितना उन टूल्स को स्टडी करेगा, he his project will be that much better. So that's why library research report enhances the practical capability of the student. Number two improves the efficiency. Why? For example, working in a software house, you have been assigned a new task or an assignment. Being update is necessary. update Clear? And in a meeting, if you have studied that software, you have studied the background, obviously, you will be an efficient person and your conversation will be based on logic, reason. Fine. And also, your working style will be 
much better than a person who has not yet explored even a word about that. Second thing is that library research report exclusively be about your relevant field. Clear? This is both important part that for the library research report, it is much better that it should be about your interesting topic. It should be feel directly uh, relevant to your field and do not uh, opt something some topic which you are not familiar with is ki azan istemal ye hai ki beta aap ne software engineering pad rahe hain to agar aap chemical engineering mein koi article likhna chahenge you won't be able to write it clear actually library research report is an expert exploration clear and you might not be able to do that it is much better that we should opt relevant topic topic of our interest clear the topic which can enhance our theoretical significance we can enhance our practical skills dear students i'm sure that you have learned about what is library research report and what are the benefits of writing the library research report